Well, Milwaukee homicides in the city are up more than double from this time last year. Lauren Linder spoke to Chief Morales today about what's driving up the numbers and the effort to bring them down. Milwaukee police have investigated 60 homicides so far in 2020. This time last year, that number was 28. It's an increase of 114%. It hurts. Uh, you don't have to know the victim to see, uh, you know, to understand what transpired and uh, how we always feel we could have done something more. Chief Alfonso Morales says three factors are driving the numbers, mental health, drugs, and domestic-related situations, the latter resulting in a third of the deaths. Carmen Petrie of the Sojourner Family Peace Center says they started to see a rise in domestic homicides last fall. That hasn't stopped. But she says what's different this year are the crimes involving multiple victims and families. We've had, in essence, this year, two homicides that have claimed the life of eight people. In, in, you know, just a matter of months. And she says the COVID-19 pandemic isn't helping the problem. Survivors have reported that abusers are more volatile. So that would lend me to believe that the stress of COVID is making uh, people who have used violence as a strategy more likely to use it. That leaves her concerned for the future. Will we see more homicides? I hope we don't. I, I, I think we may. To try and curb the issue, Sojourner will get back to doing home visits on high-risk cases with the police the week of May 25th. And in June, Chief Morales says the Homicide Review Commission will be implementing a plan to specifically deal with domestic violence. Uh, we've had our challenges. I, I do hope and I am happy that uh, there are other organizations coming together to help because this is truly going to be out an all-team effort. When it comes to domestic violence, help is out there. You can find information on resources and the hotline number on our website, tmj4.com. Reporting in Milwaukee, Lauren Linder, TMJ4 News.